Hey, good evening, everybody. I am Chuck Rogers, licensed professional counselor and licensed marriage and family therapist. And I'm Keith Ben, and I guess colors. <laughs> and he's a network engineer. And together we're Tabletop Coffee. Yeah, where we are bold and never, ever better. And tonight we're going to look at can questions be answered or are there just some unsolvable puzzles? Stay tuned and we'll talk about it. If we're talking about relationships, I'm not real sure where you're going with this tonight, mm -hmm. but thinking about relationships and unsolvable questions, different puzzles mm -hmm. that you go into mm -hmm. in life, I think there are quite a few of them. Yeah, I wrote down some here. Uh, why did my husband have this affair? Why did my wife have this affair? Why did my father sexually mm -hmm. abuse me? Okay. Why did my partner have an affair? Uh, how could he love another woman? How could he love uh, sh yeah. she love another man? You know, all these questions of why and how. And I I know we ask them. Right. And, and I know that we desire to have answers for those. Mm -hmm. I'm just not convinced that, A, there are answers for those things. And okay. I'm not sure that it's all that beneficial to continue to ponder those questions over and over and over again just not well i think that that's tough in a relationship anyway when you're dealing with questions that are boy these are heavy i mm -hmm. mean you talk about there's uh, a big ones yeah. you know you called the square circles it's it's so true because you're trying to make sense of something that can't really make sense especially to the other person who mm -hmm. has been affected by oh. whatever this question is about. So, yeah, it's 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 kind of looking back on these things and going through those questions. I I can't I wouldn't be able to make sense of it either. Yeah, I, I'm not sure that you're really able to, but we try. And sure. this this comes up for me on a, a regular basis over the years, mm. and it really came up for me again last week. I had some hurting people in my office. One of the persons had betrayed the other person. Okay. And in this particular case, uh, it was a, a man who had betrayed his wife. Okay. And you, you can have you know sexual affairs. You can have emotional relational affairs. You can have affairs that are emotional, relational, and sexual. It, it just depends. Okay. Uh, and it's, it's really difficult because people will ask the question, how – could this happen? How could he or she, how could they do this? Mm, and right. then sometimes the person will say, well, I'm not really sure. Um, or I, I did it, but I, I, I still loved you. No, I, no. I still had loving feelings for you. And I, I developed inappropriate loving feelings for this other person as well. Right. And then they look at me and they say, how can that be? Oh, and, and, yeah. yeah. Am I just supposed to suck it up and, and hurt mm -hmm. for the rest of my life? And there aren't any awesome answers to those questions. And so I, I try to bring comfort and I, I say th things to this betrayed person like, first of all, I know you're hurt and I know you're mad. Right. And I know you're in pain, and I get that. I'm sure I don't begin to know how much you're hurt or how mad you are or how the depth of your pain, but I want you to know I, I feel it, and I feel it over here. Okay. And I also am not sure there are any really great answers to what you're asking because I'm not sure that it actually exists. And I use that. I say, you sure. know, it would be the equivalent of me telling you, I want you to leave here, and I want you to go grab a – make a square circle – yeah. And then bring that back to me and then we'll continue talking. Okay. You know, how successful would you be? Yeah, you wouldn't be very yeah. successful. Or go out yeah. and paint a, a, a smell purple <laughs> and bring that back. <laughs> sure. And then, you know, we'll continue talking about mm. this. It's like you're asking questions that can't be answered. Like, how did God always exist? Right. Or uh, can God create a rock so big that he can't lift it? Yeah. You know, you're, you're asking questions that really aren't answerable. They go in the mystery box, but we keep, mm. you know, taking right. them out. Yeah. And so I, I'll also say, well, you know, your, your spouse, inappropriately so, 
sure. gave their heart away to another person. Right. They fell in love with this other person. And at the same time, they had loving romantic feelings for you. And so now they find their self in this place of I have loving feelings for this person and I have loving feelings for this person. Oh, what a mess I'm in. And then yeah. it comes the day where they have to decide what they're going to do if I if I leave my girlfriend, I hurt my wife. And if I hurt my wife, or if I leave my wife, I hurt my girlfriend, no matter what decision I make is going to end up hurting somebody. And they're just caught in this web. And it's a real mire. And it's real pain. And it's inappropriate. And yet it's it's real pain. Okay. Yeah, and you're taking that from the side of the person who is who has offended mm -hmm. the other person, mm -hmm. but from the side of the person who has, who is coping with this, who mm -hmm. is not dealing with those two people, mm -hmm. they must really feel betrayed. Well, they have been through, betrayed. Yeah, going through something like yeah. that. Yeah, and I, I, I tell them that. I said, and because I'll say, I feel betrayed. Right. And I said, no, you don't feel betrayed. You have been betrayed. Hmm. All right. You have been betrayed and you feel angry about it. You feel hurt. You feel mm -hmm. sad about it. You indeed have been betrayed. You have been put in this place by the other person's decisions. Mm -hmm. Right. So this person, you know, recently said to me, well, so do I just have to suck it up and hurt for the rest of my life? Uh, right. And my reply was, um, I don't know for sure if I know the answer to that question. All right. I don't know that you'll ever get over it, but I think you can get past it. Okay. And I think you can move forward, and I think that you can have a, a really great life, and maybe even, and I know this is really strange, okay. you can even have a better marriage than you've ever had before. Okay. I've seen that happen on, on many occasions as well. Okay. So I don't know that you'll ever get over it so that, you know, if you think about it, it's likely to feel painful for you. Right. So I don't know that you'll get over it, but I, I do believe that you can get past it. And my challenge to this particular person was, you know, your brain is continuing to solve this unsolvable puzzle. <laughs> Right, yeah. It's like, uh, have you ever watched a television show and you'll see somebody and you'll go, I, I know that person. Oh, yeah. How do, where I know them? Oh, where do I know them from? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, um, maybe a few minutes later it'll come to you or hours later or the next day. Or weeks later. Yeah, you'll go, oh, there's that person. <laughs> you weren't consciously thinking about it, mm -hmm. but your brain was still working on yeah. that, trying to solve that puzzle. Sure. And in that situation, it's kind of okay and can be kind of fun. But in these other situations where we're talking about betrayal, hmm. it's not fun. Right. And so my pitch to the person, although difficult and oftentimes I think inadequate, right. is I think I would give my brain permission to never, ever completely understand it. I'm going to try to facilitate repair, hmm. right. rebuild trust, and have relationship 2.0. Yeah, but in order to, in order for that to happen, going back to uh, what you were talking about about the other spouse trying to make that decision mm -hmm. between the the girlfriend or the wife, I mean, they have to fully make that decision yes. in order for this to even go into mm -hmm. that stage. Right? Oh, absolutely not. Okay. There's got to be some uh, very poignant uh, places where decisions are made, right? And then you can move on. Yeah. And and talking about the trust side of mm -hmm. things, we made that video yeah. talking about trust and actually giving our spouse access to our phone or other mm -hmm. devices, oh, yeah. which people really uh, commented on. Oh, yeah. On we got lots of feedback of about that. Ways. I will <laughs> add that in here because that is an interesting video to watch. So I'll put that up here yeah, for you. That's a well. very, very helpful one for helping people move on from these kinds of situations. Yeah. Okay. Right. Hey, I hope you liked your content. If you did, would you please subscribe? Because as always, Keith really appreciates it. I that. do appreciate it. Yep. Be sure and ding that bell so you're notified of upcoming episodes. Make sure to like it. Yep. Share this with your friends. Thanks, everyone. Until next time. You look great tonight. Oh, well, thank you very much, Man, Keith. I tell you what, doesn't, doesn't he look good with his black vest and this teal? I would call it teal. 
You think it's a teal? I don't know. Teal collared shirt? I'll have to defer to your... (laughs) I don't know. That's what I would call it. I would call it teal. You have like a color wheel in your mind. You have everything else in your mind. (laughs) You just add the color wheel. I I had no idea that you had a color wheel in there as well. Yeah, it's an RGB uh, R of uh, 120, (laughs) G of 240, and a a B of 79. The dude thinks he's... Look up that color. He thinks he's Sherwin-Williams. It's probably brown or something like that. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) 